everybody. Welcome to Wiley Domestic. Uh, this week uh, we're going to go over a few tips on how to green your wardrobe. Uh, you know, in order to dress in sort of a green way or wear, you know, wear um, earth-friendly, eco-friendly clothing, you don't necessarily have to wear like rough jute fibers and hemp and rope and and all sorts of different shades of brown and whatnot. You can, you know, you really have a lot more options uh, available to you. One of the uh, main ways that I use to dress sort of green, thrift store shopping. My num that would be my number one tip, thrift stores, thrift stores, thrift stores. Um, also, part of that, uh, you know, clean out your own closet every so once in a while, once a, once a year, twice a year, and that way you can kind of help be part of the cycle. So things that don't fit anymore or things that uh, for whatever reason uh, you've grown out of, either personally or like physically, you know, uh, you can donate those and someone else can, can use them. Uh, and the nice thing is if you donate to places like Goodwill or Salvation Army, or I know some of those, uh, those bins that you see in, in the parking lots of like strip malls and things like that, um, usually go, um, they go to good causes. Um, they'll go to veterans and, and, and people who, you know, people who need help and, and, or the money used from the donations at thrift store or used from purchases, excuse me, at thrift stores. Uh, generally go to helping helping people who need it. So that's always, uh, it's nice to be part of that cycle. But uh, as part of getting getting rid of your clothes, you can go, you can drop them off, then you can go shopping for new stuff. Um, some of my favorite, favorite items I've gotten from thrift stores. Uh, let's see here, this is one of my favorite shirts. It's got little kites all over it, very vintage looking. Uh, nice color blue there. And then one of my favorite pairs of pants, excuse me, are my green corduroys. I love these corduroys. They're this great leafy green color. Uh, I got them at uh, Goodwill for six dollars. Uh, they're LL Bean, so you know that they're well made, and uh, they just. They're, they're wonderful. They have kind of a nice skinny jean look with a little bit of a short cuff, so it's, you know, they still look very fashionable, very hip, and the nice thing is I got to give something a new life uh, without having, you know, clothes don't have to go into the garbage when you're, when you're done with them. You know, if you don't have anyone younger than you that you could pass them down to, or any friends who, who might be wearing the sizes that you used to wear, like I said, you can always donate them, and then go pick up some new stuff that's equally fun. Uh, another way that I like to sort of keep my closet green uh, is sometimes when stuff doesn't fit me anymore or if I if I see something I really really like but it might be a little bit too big or a little too small uh, or I have uh, you know my, my boyfriend's a musician and he, when he plays at events a lot of times he gets free t-shirts so uh, what I'll do is I'll modify them so one of the best ways to uh, green your wardrobe get a sewing machine or you can learn how to sew by hand uh, which is it's pretty easy to do and the sewing machine just makes it faster uh, I've made some really neat things out of old uh, old t-shirts and stuff like that one of my one of my favorite dresses here it's a little tank dress just made out of uh, strips of t-shirts from different music festivals and I also have a t-shirt that I like a lot with one of my favorite shows as a kid, Thundercats, made into a cute little boat neck tank top. So, like I said, uh, you know, sewing doesn't have to be for for grandmas and, and you know hippie moms. It's it's really easy to do, and it's a lot faster than you think to modify something and make it cute. And plus, there's tons of ideas online about ways you can. Uh, uh, take t-shirts to, to cut them and make them into different styles that are super fast, super easy and um, you know I already have on deck a bunch of other shirts that I'll be modifying later uh, next week or the week after so um, another way to green, uh, green your wardrobe besides sewing and also one more note on um, modifying your own clothes or sewing your own clothes you know you can always go down to uh, the fabric store or order some fabric online and make your own stuff that way. Um, there's patterns online, there's patterns in stores, and it's a lot more simple than you think it is. I mean, of course there are really complex patterns, so you know, you want to be mindful of your skill level. 
but uh, you know, even even at the Goodwills and stuff like that, you can find fabric that you can work with as well. So, uh, another note: there are ways that you can buy uh, buy new that are still technically green. Uh, one of the ways that I like to do is, um, you know, buying organic fabrics and things and things like that, things made with natural dyes. Uh, and also, uh, one of my favorite ways is to buy from local artisans, or um, or like, you can find some pretty uh, interesting stuff on Etsy as well. Like I have a pair of um, sandals that I had gotten that are um, they are leather and they are um, with vibram soles, and they are all handmade. A lot of times. Uh, when you do shop online in stores like Etsy or uh, another one of my, um, uh, my the stores that I like to shop at is a place called uh, Share Design T-Shirts, uh, which I heard at uh, listening to the Duncan Trussell Family Hour podcast. Um, and uh, Mod Cloth, that's another uh, site with a lot of interesting, interesting things. But you know what? Do your, you know, look around online. You can find, like I said, you can find a lot of really cool stuff that is, um, you know, either made by local people or fair trade. And that's another thing. I have a fair trade uh, jacket here that I got that was made, um, you know, made in uh, made in Nepal. But uh, you know, it was it was fair trade. The fabric is fair trade. The work was fair trade, and it's you know, it is helping to support uh, people in a country who you know don't have a lot of opportunities right now due to political issues and um, you know this is a nice way to support support the uh, the everyday everyday workers there and support the um, support the women as well because this company that's called Mata Traders they um, they specialize in in supporting um, you know small small women entrepreneurs so, so yeah you know you can find a lot of really cool stuff online. You can find a lot of really cool stuff in thrift stores, and you can make a lot of really cool stuff on your own. So um, those are just a couple of tips to to help you try and uh, green up your wardrobe without having to, you know, with still being able to to look hip and and you know express your own style. You know, you don't have to look like a hippie, and you can you can dress however you want. You can be very professional, very chic, um, or you can look like a hippie if you want to too. So whatever your own style is, there's definitely ways to express that while still keeping a, a green sensibility about the way you we, the way you dress and the way you pick your clothing. So thanks for watching Wildly Domestic. Uh, you enjoy the rest of your day. All right.